Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at another travel trailer that we have not seen on the show yet. This one is an awesome family travel trailer. This is a 2022 Palomino Solaire, model 294BH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Palomino Solaire and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I am super excited guys. We're out here in Texas and we're looking at units that have never before been seen on the show and that's why we're here. That's why we're participating in this great event and I'm super excited to show you this awesome travel trailer. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. Another day here at RV or Explore RV um, USA in Austin, Texas. Yes. And yeah, like Matt said, we're here. That's um one of the big reasons we went with RV retailers because there's so many different brands. I mean everything pretty much. Hell we, yeah, brother. We can review now. That's why we're here and that's why we're excited. Thank that's you right. to Explore RV. Will, let's begin. All right. Model is 294BH Solaire. The actual tip tip length. It's 33 feet, six inches. The dry weight is 6,393 pounds, and that hitch weight is 675 pounds in well. Yeah. I love front windshields. I know. Looks fantastic, but first, right up front here, we do have a power tongue jack. Always make sure you guys get weight distribution bars. Right here, we got your propane tanks, and that's where your batteries go. Okay. Well, as I said, this is a fully molded fiberglass front cap. Right. Uh, this one has the front windshield, interesting oh no what i was looking at those solaires and i'm like i don't like them as much because they don't have the windshield but those are a full front cap. they are this one's just right here pros and cons man i like them both man mm -hmm. i like them both right here we got that right here we do got diamond plate rock guard here um and then here dude we got to review one of those tomorrow <laughs> just saying before we leave we got to review that one as sounds well. good Right here, we do have very nice storage. That's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting that it does go all the way through. We'll find out what's on the other side. What I do like is it is a slam latch door. And right there, we do have very nice electric stabilizer jacks. Cool. Coming on down the side here, we do have a very nice power awning with LED lights. Yes. And we do got not one, but two sets of solid stabs. Wow. Very nice. It's a, for those of you who don't know, this is a Forest River. Uh, Palomino's and the Divisional Forest River, kind of like how Coachman's a Divisional Forest River in east to west. A uh, nice solid steps there. Right here we do got speakers on the outside, uh, cable hookup, and a place for you to mount the TV. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Tamaracks. Tamaracks, I love those. How did you see that? Right here. Where? What, what size are they? They are the... ST225-75R15. Very nice, Tamarax, I love those. And we do got the Dexter axles right there. Coming on down the side here, we do have a door. This leads to the bathroom. Okay. Which is uh -oh. locked, which will open on the inside with another pair of solid steps. Coming around the back, oh dang that, but well no ladder to get up on the back. I was too tired anyway. <laughs> we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Uh, right there's a propane quick connect. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. Here's what those Tamaracks look like all cleaned up. Very nice. And it is prepped for a Furion backup camera there. Very nice. Tamaracks. Finishing up with the driver's side. We do got sewer hookup right there. A little fresh tank right there. What the heck's going on here? This is for solar. Oh yeah, the clip cover must have came off. No, why is it on the side? Normally that's on the roof. Oh yeah, you're right. That's interesting. 50 amp service right here. There's your little plug-in. And then here. Wow. Wow, great storage. Yeah. Fan freaking tastic. Only in America? Only in Texas. Yes, sir. You read my mind. That's so funny. Finishing up, here's your water heater. And that's why they did it well. Just like a fifth wheel, very nice. Water connection. Black tank flush, city water connection, potable water fill. Potable, potable. Very nice. And there's a battery disconnect there. Well, well, the outside of the Solaire looks great. But the inside looks even better. 
Let's go, take a look. All right. All right. Start up front here in this bedroom right here. Then in the middle is your living area, dining area, and kitchen. All the way in the back is the bunks right next to that uh, bathroom. Perfect, let's give a big shout out to our sponsor Lipper for sponsoring today's video. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by Lipper. Did you guys know Lipper does so much more than axles and chassis? They actually make a whole bunch of RV lifestyle aftermarket products. I have three chairs that I wanna show you guys today. The first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair. This chair, you can lean all the way back, you can relax it, you can, you, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the Big Bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. Great, so Will, we're actually gonna start here in the middle living room area. Okay. And here's the first thing I wanna say. So glad we came to Texas because, well, we're seeing we're seeing so many different interior styles that we're not used to seeing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Really nice colors here. Right here, the valances. You got the privacy splines. I really like those valances. I feel like it's a design that Andrea would really like. Right here, you do got the windows that open up all the way around. And then here, you got the theater seating, right? Yes. Thomas Paine collection. Not one, not two, but four cup holders. Right here, you got the remote holder here. And well, this is a very comfortable theater seat. Oh man, and even, oh, oh man. Wow. You done for today? Call it a day, Will. <laughs> What's really nice is that it is directly across from the TV entertainment center. Yeah. Right here, we got very nice storage above. Mm-hmm. TV right here. And it looks like it is on a mount. But I don't think it's supposed to move. Okay. But there, there's definitely good space right behind there for storage. Show the camera. Well, the American people want to see. It comes out. Does it come out? Oh, there you go, Will. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of a razzle dazzle there. there right there, we got storage underneath there. Uh, Furion sound system. And there's a fireplace right there. What is nice about that fireplace, it does produce heat from electricity. Right over here is kind of a pantry closet type thing yes yes very nice here's oh, all your, your buttons controls. yeah your controls and then over here will is a very nice u-shaped dinette i love the u-shaped dinette you can see that it's dropped down to make a bed we do got storage underneath there okay and let's see if the bars are underneath here oh they are oh man i shouldn't have said anything <laughs> these are the tough ones they are yeah oh man are we doing it for America? Yeah. No, no, no. Say no. No, we are. No, we're not doing it for them. We're doing it for Texas. We're doing it for Texas. <laughs> These are the worst ones, though. All right. Here we go now. If Let's... you can't, I'm sure JD can. Oh, my gosh. Don't <laughs> go there. He's not my rival. He's my friend of me. Oh, my gosh. It has the little things. These are the worst. work <laughs> first world problems okay bada bing bada boom well what have i what have i been saying the whole time easy as one two three that's right very nice light right there again with the privacy blind and again guys the u-shaped dinette is where it's at it is that's what i love <sighs> my favorite floor plans that do this style is the twilight 2800 and the Imagine 2800. The Imagine kind of does a U-shaped dinette, not very much. And then the Cougar 29BH. Yes. And, you know, this is a real U-shaped dinette, and I love what they did here. 
And then I'll let me show everybody the bunks. Okay. And then Will can show everybody that kitchen. Very nice bunk beds right here. Good space. You did see that awesome storage from outside. You do got power and USB here. Nice little lights. Little window here. Very nice. Well, why didn't you get corner bunks? <laughs> Would you have been more comfortable? I would have. I would have. Corner bunks are always more comfortable than the uh, pull-out sofas. Yeah. Well, Will, would you like to show everybody the kitchen? Of course, but before I do, I want to give a quick reminder. We're now partnering with RV retailers, so we can help you nationwide, no matter what unit you're looking for. Um, if you're looking at this unit or anything else, go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com. And Matt and I will be able to help you out through our team. Yep, we'll find something somewhere for someone. That's right. right over here up top, we got some storage up there. Nice. TST tire monitoring system. We need one of those, Will. Just take it. I, do, I have one. I got to install it. Nice. Nice graystone microwave right there. Okay. Nice graystone range hood right there. Hood range. Good backsplash there. Uh, three burner. Whoops. Breaking it, Will. You're breaking it. Raystone um, three burner stove top and oven right there. I like these countertops. They're different, almost like a concrete look. Okay. I think it looks nice. Um, single bowl sink right here. Nice little spray faucet. Yes. Nice big one. Um, and then a couple drawers right here. And storage right there. Very nice. No heat ducts on the floor either. Correct. And then to finish all off, we have a nice GE compressor refrigerator right here works off a of 12 volt. Man. And a big pantry right here. Now this pantry is probably gonna end up having to be multi-use purpose space. Uh, maybe some clothes and socks on your, some shelves. And... Socks, underwears, and fruit roll-ups all in That's the same right. place. Cool. All right, well, it's now time for the shower test. All right. I need you all the way completely in the shower there. Okay. It's not as bad as, as it originally looked. Yeah, it did look horrible. Yeah. But... But I still can't pass it because my head's right there. Wamp, um, wamp. But yeah, I mean, the width is good. I don't like this either. Yeah. And then this is like right up against it. So right. I don't know what you're supposed to even do. Yep. So, yeah. Crazy. Okay. Right there, we got the sink with some uh, winterization in it. We don't charge extra for that here. Nope. Uh, we got a little sink there. And uh, that. We don't winterize down in Florida, Will. Right. We don't need to. And if you do want to winterize, these need to work extra. Right, yeah, well, yeah we, tech, I mean, technically we do. Yeah. yeah. It's just one of those figures of speech, Will. Oh my God. Will. One, it's porcelain toilet, respect. Okay. What the heck's up with this wall? Mm. You know it's what I'm saying? There. Nothing. Hang on, let me get this seat up. Make sure a scorpion doesn't bite me. Yeah, dude, I'm... I'm it's just that wall, Yeah. Huh? probably plumbing in there well the plumbers done messed up the prime poop position well because mm -mm -mm. this is not a prime poop position perfect and then coming on all the way through to the master bedroom down the stretch here okay whoa this is what I call a king-size bed yeah man this is freaking fantastic I love this we got the LED lights right up here. I love this window. You know, I like that I can see my neighbors and I can snoop on them. <laughs> Very cool. We do got storage on this side. Yes. Same thing over here. Yes, sir. There you go. Let's show what they got right there. Nice little closet right here. Kind of goes pretty far deep, actually. Right. Two AC units on this right there. That's where a TV is. And well, I love, love, love the bamboo mattresses. Okay. I don't know who they are or what they're doing, but they are mighty comfortable. Whoa. And then right there, we have some awesome storage underneath the bed right there as well. Okay. Well, well, everybody's dying to know what the MSRP is. And we will let them know in just a few moments. But first, it's time we give everybody Three things we love about the Palomino Solar, and three things we dislike about it. Well, what do we do first? Three things we like. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go first. Okay. 
I love the U-shaped dinette. Well, yeah, of course. That is a true U. That is the true U. You can't spell true without U, and that's what that U-shaped dinette is. That's right. It's freaking awesome, phenomenal, plenty of space. It's a family camper, and it's good for the whole family to sit around. Okay. That's number one. For me, it's going to be the closet space in the master bedroom. Talk to me. A lot of times in a floor plan like this, you're not getting it. You just get the little closet yep. on either side of the bed. Yep. Um, and in this, they made it work. And in doing that, it gave a much better viewing position for the TV. I'm, so I concur. Oh. I completely concur. So much so that I'm going to give you number three. Okay. That front windshield. Yep. Love it. Must have it. Got to need it. Front windshield is super awesome. I'm gonna combo it, Will, with the electric stabilizing jacks yeah. and the solid steps, dual solid steps. That's right. That. Great, so that's three things we don't like, or that's three things we like about it. Well, now it's time for three things we don't like about it. And Will, I would like you to go first. Okay, um, I am gonna go, oh, I don't like how the storage in the front isn't passed through. Really? Yeah. Oh, we're, we disagree then. Okay. No, yeah. no, no, C continue on. No, I just, you know, I think it's it would be harder to get stuff, you know, uh, that gets pushed towards the back where um, if it was passed through, you could open up the other side. I 100% so. agree with that. But I will say, I do like those water hookups the way yeah. they have it. Yeah. Pro and a con That's all right. in one. That is number one. Well, do you have a number two? Because I have a great number three. Um. I need you to give me number two. I mean, I could say the bathroom. Talk to me. You know, the bathroom. Poorly like, designed. Yeah. Uh, you know, I just think they could have done better. Yep. Even with the space given, I think they could have shrunk up the pantry a little bit. Yep. They could have eliminated that second door, something to make that bathroom better. Okay. And well, I have a number three. Oh, it's blinding me. Oh, yeah. And you weren't even thinking of this number three. Okay. You ready? Mm hmm. No outside kitchen. Yeah. In every single competitor, all the other SOBs, some other brands. Bing. Yep. I like that. Um,. They're doing this floor plan. They're giving you uh, very similar and every single one of them is giving you an outside kitchen. Mm -hmm. This one did not do that. They failed to do that. They could have easily added one. If everybody else is doing it, you could have done it. And I just wish this had a little outside kitchen. That's right. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Come on over here, Well. Okay. If you can't see it, the camera can't see it either. You ready? Yeah. And what, what was happening was there's like a reflection yeah. at that angle from the singularity of the sun, <laughs> from the equilibrium. I'll never be JD, will I? No. No. MSRP is $52,745. Will, that is MSRP. Okay. Sale price. Do you know what Explorer V is selling this for? I do not. Do you? It's a lot less than that. Yeah. And listen, well, the reason why is because they are now partnered with RV Retailer. And that's the same reason why we're partnered with RV Retailer. Because it doesn't matter what travel trailer you want, where you live, or which one you want to buy, we have a dealership close to you that will sell you one of these. And so if you're interested in this, all you have to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. Click the contact form. Let us know that you want to buy one of these. And we will hook you up with our closest Palomino partner to make sure that you guys get a great price, great service, and the best buying RV experience in the entire industry. That's right. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, you know, and again, that's why we're doing this is to bring you guys new units. Yes. So I hope you enjoyed yet again another new unit. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and well, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.